guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to sin city i am sin nice to have you hope you stick around um in today's video i'm going to be doing part two of my nipple piercing video this is going to be more of not really an update but more of me answering questions for my first one and replying to statements for my first one a lot were deleted but i will still be you know talking about a lot of those things so let's just jump right into the video so first just to update you guys it has been three months it's been a little over three months the three month mark was october 6th so like a week ago and pretty much nothing really drastic is happening and it feels like they're healed but i know for a fact that they're not healed um i still have a little bit of um what's that stuff called it's like you know we have to like clean it every day and stuff i still have to do that i still get that stuff i still spray with the spray and clean with the q-tips because i was just supposed to do um i don't actually use dove to wash i use whatever i decide to wash with because i feel like you know you can just wash however you want to wash it hasn't done anything crazy to me yet um i have got it caught again if you guys have watched my first one you know that when i was with my currently ex-boyfriend that um it had got caught in his chain well i had a shirt that had holes in it and while i was asleep i guess my ring and my nipple was in one of the holes and in my sleep i pulled my shirt down like really hard and it pulled my rings and it hurt so bad it felt like my nipple ring got pulled out again but it actually it it bled for like a day which was crazy like it was so numb i did not want to touch it it hurts so bad so that still hurts <laughs> a lot but other than that it's really nothing drastic it's nothing crazy just keep doing what you're doing and three months in you'll be fine so pretty much um on my first video i got a lot of comments and um neg i got a lot of negativity on that video I, one question well one statement I kept getting was what if I want to have kids how am I going to go about breastfeeding with nipple rings yeah, but how would I go um breastfeeding with nipple rings so number one most people know I really don't see kids in my future I'm not gonna say that I'm not going to have kids but at this point I don't really see kids in my future but if I were to have a child i mean it's not hard to breastfeed with rings all you have to do is take them out make sure that you clean the area clean your nipples feed your baby and then clean again put your rings back in or because i don't see myself breastfeeding or you can just feed them the, like the, the formula that you feed infants hey it's alternatives but that was one thing that i kept getting with that another one was um about following other people because I did say that my inspiration was Amber Rose, Rihanna, and the fact that I just wanted them. Just because those were my inspirations does not mean that that was the only reason why I got them or because I was trying to follow them. Every time people do something, it's not because they want to be like somebody else. Maybe they just want it and then they see somebody else with it and it was just like, yeah, now I really want it. So I just wanted to address that point that I had one was pretty much oh yeah but back to that and then they also put my skin color in it you know like black people always like following people and you know stuff like that anyway they didn't want to speak on that but so the next thing was about with your sexual if you being sexual you know about it not you getting your nipples pierced you lose sensation not true i think i spoke on that in my last video you still get sensations and you still can have fun with that sexually and it was like how you think your boyfriend um is going to enjoy sucking on metal he might not like that um i had no complaints from my ex-boyfriend at all he did not complain about tasting metal or anything if he did have problems with that he didn't address it to me so for all i know he enjoyed the rings i enjoy the rings only thing is with them I mean you feel a lot of sensation especially like when it gets cold and then your nipples get hard like it kind of is I don't know how to explain it's like a, a numb feeling like it doesn't feel bad but it doesn't feel like really good it just feels kind of I don't know but that's just me I don't know how other people feel but when it gets cold it's just like 
a numbing feeling to the nipples. I don't know. But um, I'm trying to think off of my head. I might go to the comments on the video. But I kept deleting a lot of like y'all. When I tell you I had so many negative comments on that video. But I would like to thank you guys for getting that video to 290,000 views. I have no video on my channel even close to that. So I would like to thank you guys for that. And right now I have 103 comments, y'all. Like I had like 200 or something comments. I had to delete so many comments. But because I kept getting a lot of comments, people want me to, you know, tell them that it's a bad video that I shouldn't have um put the green bars. Pretty much just, you know, men want to see my bare boobies, but that's not what I'm trying to do. So one girl and Bruno, she asked, did you swim on the beach? Personally, I think I think I was told that to not go swimming. Cause you know, the beach is kind of full of people swimming, the pool is full of people swimming, and that's a lot of um like bacteria and stuff in the pool and in the water and stuff, so not to do it. But I have recently went to um the beach in Florida and got into the water. I had no problems after that, but that was like two months after I got it done, maybe. I think it was like two months after I got it done. Um Oh yeah, and then another thing people was kind of feeling type of way about was that I had a male that was doing my um piercings, and the fact of the matter was that when we went in there, because I did personally just want a female to do mine, but when we went into there, it was only two males in there doing piercings, one doing piercings, and then one in the front, and it was alternating. So pretty much, I really had no choice at that time but to let a male do my piercing. So. It wasn't no, you know, oh, I'm going to just go in there and pick a guy to get it done. Literally, it was only two guys in there that was doing piercings. So, had to make it do what it do. Had to make it shake some kind of way. Um, and then, Ramakin, I don't know if I pronounced it right. They said, does nipple piercings heighten your sexual arousal? And then, what's the reason why I got them? I didn't say, well, I got them. Because, um, you know, I wanted them. And then I seen Amber Rose. And I seen Rihanna had one of her nipples pierced. So, it was just like, yeah, I really like that. And then, it doesn't really heighten sexual arousal. I mean, it's kind of like a a pleasure. A pleasure. Like a, a good pain. Kind of like getting them done was like a a quick pain that's like a kind of like a good pain like it hurts but at the same time it kind of feels good but eh, it doesn't really heighten your sexual arousal and then Marilyn Kate Park she was like that I was brave that's so sweet and she was like because it does hurt bad it does hurt but it's like a very quick pain so it's not too bad and then one person asked who was filming while I was getting my jiggles done um, my best friend Robin was recording me. She came in there and um recorded for me. And then um Wallace Shekels was like, when you mentioned the part with the chain, I think I felt your pain. You're a brave girl for doing that. You're very cute and I love your southern accent. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Oh, thank you. And girl, I'm telling y'all, that was getting your nipple caught in anything is the worst pain. And that was the number one thing that I was like trying to watch out for. I did not want to get it caught in anything and I literally did two weeks after getting them done and a lot of these are really nice comments like it really put a smile on my face like you know I'm actually doing something on YouTube that's positive because I was going to delete the video but it was a lot of people on there watching it before getting their nipples pierced or you know they had questions not just you know sexual questions but actual questions so I didn't delete the video then somebody was just like, you only talk, you're not getting it pierced. Somebody was like, ouch, I would not do that to my nipples. That's your prerogative. I got mine done. <laughs> and then Antonius Bowler said, ma'am, you are not, you are gorgeous whether your nipples are pierced or not. Thank you. That's so sweet. And see, this was one person, um, Hello K Bear. She said, I just got mine done today. Honestly, it's the only person I've ever felt pain for. It was a 5 out of 10, though, and now I hardly feel it there. Like, literally, it's kind of painful when you get it done. It's not that bad. 
and then after you get it done it's just like well they're here and then that's really most of the videos is just like comments on either you know they want to get theirs done or that you know I was a brave person for getting them done or you know that I was pretty so you know thank all you guys for commenting and all the likes and stuff cause this is like you know one of my first videos that ever went not viral but getting so many getting so much attention I had people asking when the update is coming but yeah I don't really I'm not showing nipples I'm not showing um bare boobs I'm not showing me putting on a shirt and letting my nipples be seen none of that I really got my nipples pierced for me for myself for something for me to look at that was really it so that's really all for this video to be honest thank you guys for watching thank you guys for all the positivity and for watching my videos and you know liking and comment and just thank you guys so much and if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe and become a doll or whatever and this is Sin signing off. Peace. Sin, Sin City wasn't made for you. Angels like you.